Hello grade twos. This week we are going to learn about animal homes. You all have homes. This is where you sleep at night, where you spend time with your family, you play and you keep your things. Animals also need a place to raise their young, to sleep, to keep safe. This is called their habitat. Some animals sleep during the night but others sleep during the day. Think of owls and bats. They sleep during the day. Animals that are awake at night are called nocturnal animals. Animals need to keep themselves safe while they sleep. There are different types of homes for different animals. Some need big spaces, but others might only need a small space. Some animals just sleep wherever they are at night. Rhinos, elephants, buck, giraffe, they do this. Sometimes they will gather together for safety. Buck tend to sleep in open spaces so that they can see if a predator like a lion or a leopard is coming their way. This way they can warn each other of danger. Other animals make their own homes. A rabbit or a hare or a mole will dig a hole or a burrow and make tunnels to live in. It is cool in the burrow during the day but warm at night. They are also hidden from predators. Often the predator is too big to fit into their burrow or hole. Think of a fox chasing a rabbit. Meerkats also do guard duty. They have a lookout and if the meerkat guard spots anything dangerous, it warns the others and they all quickly hide in their burrows until it is safe to come out again. Some animals are amazing engineers. Think of a beaver building its home. A beaver's home is called a lodge. It looks very untidy above the water, but underneath it is very well designed. Birds are also excellent builders. They use grass, leaves, fur, silk, paper and mud to make their nests. Some nests are built in trees, but others can be found on the ground. A nest is where the bird lays its eggs. And when chicks hatch, the chicks are protected and fed here. Some other animals carry their homes on their backs. Can you think of one? I will give you a clue with this picture. Do you recognize the tortoise? A snail is another example of an animal that carries its home. It's a bit like you having a caravan. Wherever you stop, you have your home with you. You can also keep warm and dry and hide in it. People sometimes make homes for their domestic animals. A domestic animal is one that is used to people, like dogs and cats. A horse could sleep in a stable. A cow in a cow shed. A pig in a pigsty. Or a chicken in a chicken coop. I would like you to go and look outside and see if you can spot any animal homes. Maybe there's a nest in the tree or a spider web. Perhaps you can see an anthill or maybe some bees in their hive. Next time we will look more at the names of animal homes. Goodbye.